Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryder Matolo and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about on the banking system inside your Grand Theft Auto V game. So guys, all you gotta do, okay, is download all of the requirements that's inside my description below and make sure you download and install your requirements. Once you guys have completed that, then all you gotta do is download this mod. I will leave this mod inside my description below. Once you guys have completed that process, then all you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file locations. As you guys can see, I have already installed my requirements, and I don't need to install them. Make sure you got a scripts folder as well. Go and open up your scripts folder, and then all you got to do is open up your banking system extract folder. And then once you guys open up your banking system extract folder, all you gotta do, okay, is copy everything inside your extract folder and then paste it inside your scripts folder. That's all you gotta do. And exit out of your extract folder and make sure that your native UI.drl is 1.9. This mod will only work on 1.9. It does not work on 1.7, 1.8, 1.9.1 go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder right click refresh your folder exit your folder refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and we're here with Franklin so we're gonna go and check out the banks okay but just to let you guys know if you do get a notification on your screen on your left hand side down the bottom that the loading is successful then you got it right now open up your map, okay, and as you guys can see, you'll see blimps. We got one, two, three, four, and five. Um, yeah, I think five, no. Yeah, no, one, two, three, four, yeah. We've got five um, banks, okay. We got one Pacific Bank, and we got four Flicka Banks, okay, guys. So we've got five um, banks, okay, so... The bank that I'm going to go to is the Pacific Bank. It's close by, that's why. Now let's go and teleport there using menu. Now what we're going to do is that we are going to test this mod to see if it works. But I already tested this mod and it does work, guys. Now all you guys got to do is just walk through here, okay? And then press E. Like if, there you go. Press E. Now it says manage account, so go to manage account. And in real life, okay, you have to open an account, okay? When you go to your bank, okay, in real life, you have to open an account. So we're going to open an account. And now on your left hand side down the bottom, it says you have successfully opened an account with Pacific Standard. If you guys get an error, a native UI error, then you didn't install the mod properly so if you guys get an error and you didn't install it properly okay guys make sure you have native ui.dll version 1.9 only okay no other versions okay so once you guys are happy with the banking okay then go back and now you can deposit whatever cash you want over here okay guys i'll show you I have got $500 inside my balance, okay? So I'm going to deposit, like, just say, $1,000, okay? And then uh, it will say I've got $1,000 in my bank. I can transfer money, so I can transfer money to Michael. Uh, go to transfer, and then I can transfer $1,000 to him. And over here, guys, you can draw out the, the cash if you guys want to. Um, and over here is just the balance. And I think I already showed you guys the whole menu. 
and if you want to close your account okay and go to another bank just go to manage accounts and close the account and then you'll get a notification that you have closed your account that's how you guys do it okay it's easy to install this mod and it's easy to use this mod this mod is basically really good for showcasing role plays and etc okay or for like daily um, real life mod videos and etc so this mod is so awesome guys i really do like it so guys with that i said okay i hope you guys do like this mod because i do and just to let you guys know okay one more thing okay before i do go make sure you have native ui dll version 1.9 okay no other versions um works okay it's only 1.9 so i hope you guys do like this video if you guys did then smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content and i'll see you guys on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out